everybody. Um, this is Miss Courtney with Grade 4. Uh, today we're going to be doing webinar number 7. Okay. So the first thing I need you to do is, as always, please take out your notebook and a pen. And let's get going. All right. So first thing I need you to do, as always, is write down today's date. What day is it today? Please pause the video and write down today's date now. Okay, today is Thursday, the 16th of April, 2020. Today we're going to be discussing a little bit more about past simple. Uh, our last webinar we talked about past simple regular verbs and adding ed. Today we're going to review that a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about negative uses of past simple. And we're also going to be le learning about making questions. Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so just a little bit of a review. Um, as you can see, affirmative and negative in past simple regular, all right? So as you know, guys, we already learned about adding ed to the end of the verb and we want to talk about something we did do in the past. So I walked, he walked, he, she walked, they cooked, he skated, um, hmm, she painted, okay? So as you know, with regular verbs, we add ed on the end, okay? Now, pay attention to negative. In negative, we have this long form, did not, nizdiyalo, okay? I did not walk, she did not walk, he did not walk. It stays the same. It doesn't change based on the subject pronoun. It stays the same. It doesn't matter. It stays the same. Okay? But did not is a long form. It's kind of a long thing to say. So in spoken English, we don't usually use did not. All right. It's too long. We usually use the short form didn't. Uh, for did not, we only use that usually in spoken uh, language when we want to underscore that something really, really, really did not happen. For example, your mother says, you stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And you, she, she says, yes, you did. And you say, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I did not steal the cookie from the cookie jar. So you see, on pačirkavit, za to, što ete ni slučilis. No, pavličnamo, we usually use the short form, didn't. Okay? It's easier to say. It's more natural. So instead of, I did not take the cookie, you can say, I didn't take the cookie. It means the same thing. Did not and didn't are the same. All right, let's continue. So um, to review, we have our first exercise. All right, right now what I need you to do in your notebook, please write down numbers one through six. All right, and you see the verbs up here. Please change them into past simple with ed and write them in the correct place. Pause this video and do this exercise now. Okay, let's go over your answers. So, number one, Charlie played the guitar. Number two, Molly and her friends listened to music. Number three, Mrs. Jones cooked party food. Number four, Grandpa laughed a lot. Number five, Mr. Jones watched TV. And number six, Harry wanted a drink. Okay, you successfully made everything in past simple affirmative. Now, I have a special task for you. Let's see, can you make these sentences in the exercise negative? So whatever you just wrote in your notebook, please write those sentences in the negative form. So, for example, Charlie played the guitar. At the Stanovica, Charlie didn't play the guitar. Now it's your turn. Please write all of your sentences in negative form. Pause this video and then we will check your work. Okay, let's go over your answers now. Number two, Molly and her friends didn't listen to music. Number three, Mrs. Jones didn't cook party food. Number four, Grandpa didn't laugh a lot. 
Number five, Mr. Jones didn't watch TV. And number six, Harry didn't want to drink. Okay, look at your answers now and see how you did. Now let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so now we're getting to the part of the lesson where we're going to learn something new. All right, today we're going to learn about questions in the past simple, how to make them. So this is called interrogative. Now, please take note. Did I walk? Did you walk? Did he walk? Did she walk? Did it walk? Did we walk? Did you walk? Did they walk? So notice that did goes to the beginning of the question, okay? This is a helping verb. It helps us make a question in past simple. Did you or didn't you do something? Notice the form is did plus the subject pronoun plus verb, okay, in the infinitive. So the natural asnavnaya forma, okay? Now, I want you to know something, all right? With questions here, we don't need to add ed, okay? Same with a uh, negative. Did, did это наш жертва. А уже все страдал. Значит, что другой глагол с ним не надо меняться. Не надо добавлять ed, если это отрицание, либо если ты создаешь вопросы, okay? Значит, did I walked? Это не может быть. I didn't walked yesterday. Это тоже не может быть. Если есть did, другой глагол нельзя добавлять иди на окончании. Окей? Okay? Потому что только один из этих глаголов может меняться в past simple. Did уже принимал жертву, значит другой глагол может спокойно оставаться как так и есть. Окей. Okay. Now, we have short questions to answer these questions. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. So, did I walk today? No, I didn't. I wish I could have, but... No, I didn't walk today. All right? So, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Notice here, it also stays the same. Все то же самое. Это не важно, какой местимение используется. Все остается то же самое. Did не меняется. Didn't не меняется. Ответы коротким способом на вопросы по simple остается то же самое для каждой местимения. Не важно. Okay, so guys, please remember, did plus subject plus infinitive verb. Okay, that's how we make our questions. Now, let's try an exercise. All right, now I need you to read this exercise and tick the box. So, please look at these six questions here and please check the correct short answer. Number one is an example. Did Susie play football last Saturday? Yes, she did. Okay, why? Why, yes, she did. But the most Susie at the Devushkinsky email. She at the Miss Mink, which is not Anna. Is a head of Anna Idut Mistia. Okay, so did Susie play football yesterday? Yes, she did. Now, in your notebook for numbers one through six, please write down the correct short answer. Stop this video and do that now. Now, let's go over the answers and see how you did. Number two, did it snow last winter? No, it didn't. Почему it? Потому что снег не живой. Это оно. Оно, it is not it на английском. So, no, it didn't. Number three, did mom and dad finish work late last night? Yes, they did. They, это они. Mom and dad, они. Mom and dad, they, yes, they did. Number four, did Mark watch TV yesterday? Yes, he did. Mark is a boy's name, so he on Mark. Number five, did the children walk to school yesterday morning? Yes, they did. Children at the deity mnoshtum chiswa. Deity, ani, they. And number six, did you visit your friend last week? Yes, I did. Когда я даю вопрос, did you? Ты отвечаешь на меня с I. Из этого мы здесь выберем I. Yes, I did. Let's continue. Now, let's see. Are you able to write these questions? All right. So, I need you to do this next exercise in your notebook. So, please write down numbers 1 through 9. 
And then you need to create questions for each of these sentences. All right. So number one, I watched TV last night. The question is, did you watch TV last night? Ya smatrel telik chiravicha. Smatreliti telik chiravicha. Вот видишь, из, за, из предложений мы сделаем вопрос. Да, simple. Пожалуйста, сейчас сделай это упражнение в твоем учи, э, твой рабочий тетрад. Okay? Do the work, do the activity, and then we will continue with our webinar. Please pause this video. Okay, let's go over your answers. Number two, I enjoyed the party. Did you enjoy the party? Number three, I cooked dinner. Did you cook dinner? Number four, I finished homework. Did you finish homework? Number five, I washed my hands. Did you wash your hands? Number six, I baked a cake. Did you bake a cake? Number seven, I cleaned my room. Did you clean your room? Number eight, I studied well last week. Did you study well last week? And number nine, I played the piano last night. Did you play the piano last night? Check your answers now. Let's continue. Okay, now let's write the words in the correct order to make questions. So you have a scrambled question and you need to put it in the right order. Please do numbers one through five in your workbook, in your notebook now, okay? Pause this video and unscramble the questions. I did eat breakfast becomes, did I eat breakfast? Pause the video, write down numbers one through five, and then we will go over your answers. Okay, let's go over the answers now. Number two, did Sally like the film? Number three, did you visit your cousins last week? Number four, did Polly and Heidi go to school? And number five, did you have fun at the party? Okay, check your work and let's continue. Okay, now this is our next task. And I need you to create a question and write the short answer. Please look at this exercise now. Number one, you go to school yesterday with a gauch check mark. Becomes, did you go to school yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. So you need to write the question and then you need to write the short answer. Pause this video and please write down numbers one through eight in your notebook. Then we will continue this webinar and check your answers. Okay, let's go over your answers now. Number two, did your father work last Saturday? No, he didn't. Number three, did it rain last week? No, it didn't. Number four, did your friends walk to school this morning? Yes, they did. Number five, did you have a maths lesson yesterday? Yes, I did. Number six, did we play a new game today? Yes, we did. Number seven, did Jess watch a film last night? No, she didn't. Number eight, did you finish this exercise quickly? Yes, I did. Okay, guys, please look over your work. As you know, if you ever have any questions, you can easily write to me on Class Dojo or an email if something isn't understood. Okay, that is the end of our webinar today. Thank you guys so much. Good luck. Please look for the task on the website or on Dnivnik Ru that goes along with this webinar. Okay, please do it and upload it to Dnivnik Ru or to Class Dojo. Use email only as a last resort, please. Okay, Dynamic is working as far as I know, so I expect to see lots of work uploaded to Dynamic tomorrow. Okay, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. See you again soon.